Hey guys, today I want to show you how to use a little uh, function that um, I don't think it's used a lot in Pandas and it's the copy the clipboard function and it's really useful especially for those starting out that just want to get data inside uh, Pandas. So let's start. Um, the first thing we're going to do is, is import Pandas. and I'm gonna try to get data from two separate sources. The first one is an Excel spreadsheet, so here is Excel, and um, I could go cost, <clears throat> then, uh, I don't know, actually this changes numbers, and I could go key, I could go red, red, blue, and yellow. Okay, so here's some fake data. So the goal is to get this data into pandas. So what you do is you highlight it and you copy it. And then you go to pandas and you could type um, Excel data frame and we're gonna say pd.read clipboard. Excel, and then we're gonna print it out. So there you go. This is the data that we just copied over from Excel. Now, one thing to caution is always make sure that you check the data types. Sometimes the data types don't go through like you wanted, but in this case, costs are, are integers as shown here, and the key is a string as shown here. All right. Now the second place I want to pull data from is SQL. This is Microsoft SQL and uh, this is another common source where you're gonna find the data. And you might have Oracle or something else, but it should be it should be very similar. So here's a table called data. I'm gonna run it and as you can see it has dates, it has strings and it has floats and there's a total of 22 rows so we're gonna do the same thing with this. Highlight them all copy the results and then when we go to here we go to SQL we're gonna go PD dot read clipboard close open and close parentheses and then print it out and as you can see here are your dates here's the symbol here's the volume all 22 rows and uh, we just gotta go SQL the D types and see here's an issue um, the date is coming back as a string and we want these these dates to come back as a date so you're gonna have to convert that on your own but the symbols came out correct and the volume came out as floats so there you go what I wanted to show you is a simple simple little syntax where you can just easily pull data into pandas and just start working with it I hope you enjoyed the video thank you